Did you know that although there are countless teachings, divine instructions, and a staggering 613 commandments given in the five books of Moses, there isn't a single Hebrew word that means to obey? I know you're thinking, I can just open my Bible and I can see the word obey or obedience anywhere in the scriptures, right? But that's just how we interpret it in English. Let's shine some light on it. But in Hebrew, something much deeper is revealed. Hearing, Shema. Yet Shema is more than just hearing with the ear. It's paying close attention to what's said, comprehending, and then responding appropriately. It's truly engaging, internalizing, and understanding, and then responding to what was heard. We can see this as early as Genesis chapter 3, verse 17, when Adam hearkened unto the voice of his wife, Shema, instead of the urging of the Lord God. Shema highlights that it's not about blind compliance or obedience to a set of rules. It's about a heartfelt connection, not a robotic adherence. Shema is a transformative response to God's guidance. God doesn't want us to do what he says do because he said so. He wants us to hear him, trust him, and act on his word because he loves us and we love him. That's what makes Shema so beautiful. But don't take my word for it. Open your Bible and look for yourself. And if you want to discover more, check out my book. Because once you see it, you can't unsee it.